Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you. And it's for Monday, 10th day of April, 14th day of Nisan. 14th day of Nisan means, of course, it's Erev Pesach. This was the day that they brought the carbon Pesach, the Pesach sacrifice. And that was the big festive thing that was done on this day. And then, of course, they ate it at what we now call Seder night. Okay, but interestingly, on this day of Erev Pesach, I have to tell you a law that is you know, not exactly related to the Seder, but it's something that's going to be implemented on the first day of Pesach, so we need to do it now. And that is the tefillah of Tal and the switch over. Let me explain what I mean. At Musaf of the first day of Pesach, and this is my last chance to tell it to you right before then, is uh, the Chazan's going to say in, uh, well, let's go with the Ashkenaz way first. A lot of, mm, I'm figuring most of you listening are Ashkenaz. So what's going to happen is, no offense to the Svart people. We'll discuss that in just a minute, too. Um, so, so at Musaf of the first day of Pesach, the Chazan says the tefillah for Tal. And uh, what that means is we, we recognize that do Tal, falling on all of our grasses and agriculture throughout the year, is not an insignificant thing. It brings blessing from God, and that's how we view it. And so we make a special prayer that all of it works out properly, for us. And of course, that signals the great switch over from no longer saying Mashiv Haruach Amori Hagashem in our Shemona Esrays, but rather to saying, if you're Ashkenaz, you switch over then for the rest of the summer into saying nothing. Because at this point in the Shemona Esrays, we praise God for things that He's doing. Throughout the winter and rainy season, He's praised for bringing the wind and the rain. And then, because a lot of our way is based on what goes on in Israel, Israel is not, uh, that's not the rainy season at that time of the year, and so they would not say, Mashiv Haruach Morid HaGeshem, praising God for his bringing of the rains, when you're not going to see much rains throughout the summer months. Okay, so we switch over to no longer saying, Mashiv Haruach Morid HaGeshem. And those of you Svard know that you switch over to saying Morid Hatal, praising God for bringing down the dew. Ashkenaz people do not do that. And halachically, that's going to make a uh, large difference. What's going to happen in an Ashkenaz shul is uh, right before you say your private Musaf Shmona Esrei, the Gabai is not going to make an announcement to everybody which would say all out loud, stop saying Mashiv Ruach. We don't like making announcements like that because that like says stop praising God and we don't want to make that kind of announcement. So what's going to happen seriously in an Ashkenaz shul is uh, nothing. And everybody seriously is going to be expected to say Mashiv Ruach for their last time. Okay, that's important. In an Ashkenaz shul at Musaf on the first day of Pesach, in the quiet monasteries, everybody's going to say Mashiv Ruach. Then the Chazan will repeat the Shemona Esri with the great prayer for do, and then at Mincha, which is the announcement, so then at Mincha, which is the next following prayer after that, everyone in an Ashkenaz shul is going to say uh, no Mashiv Haruach anymore, and the first time that's going to happen in the quiet Shemona Esri is will be at Mincha. I think you get what I'm saying. You don't make the switch over yet at Musaf, you make it at Mincha, which is the next opportunity after the tefillah of Tal. That's how it's going to work in an Ashkenaz shul. Now, if your congregation is Svard, then it works out kind of different because the Gabai, right before the quiet Shemona Esrei of Musaf, can easily make an announcement. He can say to everybody, and sometimes they do it like this, they they make a bang on, a, on the bima, like for everybody to note, and he says, Morid Hatal. And that's the official announcement that you should switch over, saying Mashiv Aruch, and now praise God for the dew for the remainder of this season. That's more appropriate in a Svart Shul, because they're telling you to continue to praise God, but to make a switch in what praise you say. We don't want to do that in an Ashkenaz Shul, because that would be saying, stop praising God for Mashiv Aruch and start saying nothing. That's an awkward announcement, so we don't do it. So in short, I hope I haven't mixed you up, here's how it's going to work. And in an Ashkenaz Shul, Everybody says Mashiv Aruach in their quiet Shemona Esrei in Musaf and switches over after they hear the prayer of Tal. And that happens, uh, you know, before the Mincha, after the Musaf. So at Mincha, all Ashkenaz shuls will start saying Mashiv Aruach. If you're in a Sfard shul, what they're going to do is make the announcement before the quiet Shemona Esrei. Everybody switches over to Morid Hatal just then. Some interesting exceptions for you to think about or ask your rabbi about is what if you're a Sephard guy diving in an Ashkenaz shul, or vice versa? Or what about in Israel, where there are places where 
or there are places all over where sometimes they say the tefillah of Tal before Musaf. Well, certainly that's going to change things. If you see that coming your way, ask your rabbi about that too. We've given you some of the basics. What if you forget to make the switch over? Well, we'll do that one. We'll do that halacha on Chol uh, HaMoed. Thanks for logging on. Have a wonderful Yom Tov Chag Kasher. Besameach. And uh, log on again after the Yom Tovim. I mean on Chol HaMoed. But we'll have the next law for you. Bye-bye.